So who was that? That, my love, was William Afton, the owner of Fred Bear's family diner. Oh wow, what did he want? He wanted to partner up with me and my brother Roger. You want to join? Yes. All of a sudden there is a knock on the door. This time it's Roger. Be right back. Hey Roger, long time no see, how are you? Haven't heard from you in a while since the shit that happened with Spicy's. Glad to see my older brother still alive and well. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm not doing so great. I'm currently homeless and I can't find a job anywhere. Since I worked for Freddy's. But that was a month ago and I quit due to bad working conditions. Anyway, I thought it would be a good idea to live with my brother. Oh Roger, yeah you can totally live with me and my girlfriend Kate. Come on, come inside. Wait. Hold the fuck on. You have a girlfriend? How is that even possible? We met not too long ago. When the whole shit was going down at Spicy's. Not what you're thinking of course it was something different. Tell me. Let's go inside first. It's gonna rain soon. Alright so me and this doctor guy were teaming up to kill this annoying teen girl named Kenny Dwyer. She's with the robots at Spicy's so that was enough motivation for me to team up with him. I noticed that Kate was also there too with her scrawny looking husband, who now is divorced obviously. The plan failed due to Spicy knocking the doctor fuck out cold to the point where he died, and we all kinda just gave up after that. But I got Kate and we started to talk and go on dates and shit like that. Holy shit bro. Are you okay? Sound a fuck ton like some sort of a fight. Shit you're brave as fuck. Yeah well anyway, wanna introduce yourself to my girlfriend. Sure. They both go to the kitchen where Kate was making food. Hi, so you must be Kate. My brother's girlfriend? Nice to meet you, I'm Roger. Anthony's brother. Hello Roger, nice to meet you too, I was just making lunch for the three of us. Since I heard that you were coming, I decided to make a double batch of chicken fettuccine alfredo with broccoli, cause that's what my mum made for me as a little girl. And it's really easy and delicious. Sounds delicious, can't wait to try some. I've never tried chicken fettuccine alfredo, especially not with broccoli. But I bet it's really good. Oh yeah, bro it's really good. Especially the way Kate makes it. Damn I can smell it. Hmm <laughs> that's good. Yeah and that's not all she cooks too. She can cook up some really fire carnitas and tacos and shit. She's pretty much great at making anything under the sun. Damn I already approve of your girlfriend and I smell the star to a beautiful friendship too. They all eat and hang out as friends well Anthony and Kate are in a relationship but yeah. They all hang out and watch true crime videos and shit like that. It now cuts to Mark and Paulette. They are planning to go out to a nice restaurant for a lunch date, because Mark has recently gotten a job. They had already gotten ready, cause they were gonna go to the park too. Hey baby, so I recently got a good job. It pays like 21 an hour. Which is amazing. Damn I'm so proud of you babe. That's awesome. Yeah and it's not too far from our house. Yay, I'm so proud of you baby. I love you. So since it's lunchtime you wanna go out for lunch date? After we go to the park? Or before? Absolutely sweetheart come on let's go. And we should get lunch before going to the park. Alright that's a done deal we can do that. They both go to the restaurant for lunch. Wow baby this is a nice restaurant for lunch. He he he. I want to show you that I care and love you, and the best way in my opinion is by getting good food. That's how I did it with Kate, but she didn't really like it. Cause you know, she was a whore. So anyway where do you want to sit? Woo well, how about that table over there? Okay cool with me. They both go find a table and sit down. Good spot this table is perfect. Aw thanks hun, anyway the waiter should be coming soon. We should look at the menu and see what they have. Ooh I see some really good options. Oh yeah, heh, I get sidetracked kinda easily, heh. Anyway. Hmm, <laughs> yeah me too all these options look super good. And right now money isn't really a problem so that's a plus. Ah cutie pie.
Hee 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 yay. I got a kissy from my cutie. Oh, you're so precious and adorable. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Atlanta Grill. My name is Paul. I'll be your server. Can I get started with drinks? Oh. Yeah, can I get a Sprite, please? Okay, and for you, ma'am? Can I get an iced tea, please? Alright, sure. We have mango, peach, and lemon. Ooh, hem. I'll take mango iced tea. Thank you. Alright, coming right up. Wow! I didn't know you like iced tea. Yeah, hee <laughs> hee, it's one of my favorite drinks. Like ever. What's yours? My favorite drink is... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. I kind of like all types of drinks. Ah, that's okay, baby. Well, this so far has been fun. I can't believe we are actually together. This is amazing. Ah, baby. Come here, you little cutie pie. Ooh. So what park do you want to go to after this? Hmm, maybe a historical park or something like that. I've always wanted to do that. All right, cool. Ooh, I see the waiter with our drinks. Here you are. Have you two decided on what to order for lunch? Or do you need more time? Um. <laughs> I think we need more time. Thank you. All right, anytime. I'll be back in a few minutes to check on you too. Okay, that should be enough time for us to decide on what to get. All right. The waiter leaves and Mark and Paulette decide on what to get for lunch. Hem, I haven't looked at the menu too closely. Hem, what should I get? That ribeye steak looks good. Or the blooming burger. Ooh, the buffalo chicken wrap looks delicious. I don't know what to get myself. Ooh, yes, I'll get the buffalo chicken wrap. It looks really good. I'll get the blooming burger. Okay, I think the waiter should be coming back now. It's been a few minutes. The waiter comes back. All right, it seems like you guys know what you want. I'll start with you, sir. What would you like? Ah, uh, yes. Can I get the blooming burger, please? All right, with what sides? We have mashed potatoes, fries, and veggies. I'll take fries. Ooh, and can we put in an appetizer, too? Sure, what can I get for ya? Can we get the Tower of Onion Rings, please? Okay, and for you, ma'am? I'll get the buffalo chicken wrap, please. All right, and with what sides? We have mashed potatoes, fries, and veggies. I'll take fries, please. All right, coming right up. Thank you. I feel like this is a pretty good place to stop. I don't want to make this seem too long. Also, I want to save some for episode 5 too. Again, I apologize for being so silent in terms of my web series. I will be making more episodes cause I feel like it only makes sense to continue because I left off with not even half of season 3 of the KD story. This episode mainly focused on the antagonists but Ma Reso and oh they still do normal shit other than the antagonists to the plot kinda thing. Anyway enjoy fuckers.